This video will discuss the science of wood repair with Advanced Repair Technologies FlexTech HV Epoxy Repair System. For an introduction on wood decay, we invite you to watch part 1 of this video on the science of wood decay. Before we address repairing the wood, let's dive a little deeper into wood rot. When we think of decayed and rotten wood, most may think of a moisture problem from exposure to the weather over the years. The fact is, ultraviolet light radiation can cause just as much damage as rot caused by water. Where moisture attacks the cellulose, UV rays degrade the linen, which is the glue holding the wood cells together. The evidence of UV degradation is gray wood that will slough off when scraped with a knife or even with your fingernails. Deep checks or fissures will be noticeable in the wood surface. You may hear these signs referred to as dry rot. True dry rot is fungi, uncommon here in the U.S. and found mostly in the damper climates of Europe in interior situations away from any sunlight. The weathered gray looking wood is usually a combination of UV damage and brown rot fungi, very common east of the Mississippi River. Severe UV light damage can also be found in desert climates and in the U.S. at high altitude. Imagine the UV damage on southern exposures of window cells in Leadville, Colorado, elevation 11,000 feet. UV light carves deep, unforgiving cavities in wood at such high elevations where even an SPF 50 sunblock isn't enough to prevent a painful sunburn. So what could possibly protect vulnerable wood from attack by moisture and UV light? It all starts with the paint. Remember, paint is more than a color. Not only does quality paint add beauty and artistic expression, it is the first defense against moisture and UV damage. Therefore, a good paint film is imperative. That said, solely addressing the condition of the paint film by doing a little scraping and repainting rarely solves the real problem. The real problem is the underlying condition of the wood itself. There are many products on the market that claim a repair solution for fixing rotten wood. Some repair compounds, especially epoxies designed for marine applications, employ the use of a fiberglass cloth or the laminating of thin strips of wood to provide flexural strength. Unfortunately, use of these materials is not practical in wood repair for architectural applications. Polyester auto body repair compounds, such as auto body fillers, are filled with air and micro balloons which greatly reduced flexibility and peel strength. This inexpensive filler was never designed for wood repair. Bonding failures will occur rapidly due to expansion and contraction of the wood because the filler does not flex or expand as the wood around it expands and contracts. Another method is the very old school approach of a consolidant method for repair, which employs pouring liquid goop over the area to make decayed wood solid again. The problem with this approach is leaving the decayed wood behind greatly compromises the substrate and therefore the bonding strength of the repair. As we learned previously, decayed wood is no longer wood, but a weak matrix of linified cell walls. In addition to decayed wood, fungi spores, dirt, and oils all inhibit proper bonding of repair materials to a sound surface. Therefore, it is imperative that all contaminants be removed to a clean, sound subsurface. Impregnating the decayed wood fibers with liquid goop provides only a short-term solution, and the repair will not last. As we just mentioned, linified cell walls in the wood are what we all know as rot. Rot is caused when moisture finds its way into the wood via exposed end grain, open joints, checking, or imperfections in the wood surface. Rarely does wood decay from the inside out. Advanced Repair Technologies ART 401 FlexTech HV Epoxy Repair System addresses these issues of material fracturing and bonding failure that other repair solutions do not. FlexTech HV and its unique Primatrate bonding system together create one of the strongest and most versatile repair compounds on the market today. FlexTech HV has a compression strength of over 14,000 PSI, tensile strength of 7,500 PSI, and a flexural strength of 16,500 PSI. FlexTech will expand and contract with the wood and can be drilled, routed, sanded, and otherwise tooled like wood. Our dispensing system removes guesswork, it is easy to use, and it gives you the same great repair results every time. Over the years, Advanced Repair Technology has provided many other creative and informative how-to videos on our website, YouTube channel, and Facebook page, all posted in the links below. Please visit advancedrepair.com or call 866-859-2787. Advanced Repair Technology, because the greenest building is the one that's already been built.